two here and a good one. Trailblazers lead by one. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris. Thank you Kevin and Dwayne a very tight game here. What's the number one thing you need to do in the second half to try to get out ahead and break this thing. All right fellas still anyone's ball game right now. A few things from the first half. I'll say this. We kept a very tight handle on the basketball and that's something I always like to see. The fewer turnovers the better obviously. Keep your heads on a swivel out there. On the fast break is where we showed the most signs of life. When we pushed it, we were able to. Team points, and he's hit four from beyond the arc. A weapon with those three point shots. Now, you said it. I mean, he is using the long range jumper to deadly effect, Clark. Howling Williams, the guards. Terrence Ross is out there with Wennington. And it's Valanciunas in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Lowry against Lillard. The kick out to Williams. And he misses the go ahead basket. Portland's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Williams. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Williams has got the first field goal, the second half for the Trailblazers. After his trail by three. Feeds it to Ross. The 11-footer. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Williams has got three rebounds now in this one. Outside Batum. Williams sets a screen for Batum. Back to Williams. On the wing, Batum. Back to Williams. Portland moving the ball around. Three-pointer Miller, and the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his first foul. It's a close game here in Toronto. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Ross kicks to Williams. Lowry against Lillard. Six on the shot clock. There's Williams with the three. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. The Trailblazers shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Lillard dishes to Williams. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. What a tremendous game for Williams. He has 14 points. And he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off he'll be offensively with their spacing. He'll be disappointed not to have converted all of them, but he did get the big one to give them the lead. There's a screen. Lowry passes to Wennington. Back to Lowry. Ross in the corner. To the inside. Now the dish to Valanciunas. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin off. Williams, a screen on Ross. Batum attacking. Batum off the pick from Williams. And Batum kicks to Williams. And a foul caught on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Easy call there. No question about that one. You could hear the impact from where I am. And so Lamarcus Aldrich nails a both. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Let's go to the two game leaderboard to see the teams that have been the top offensive squad since the All-Star break. Fifth best, the Trailblazers. We have gotten much more comfortable with each other because their production in this span has really been impressive. Outside Lowry. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Freed up, nice work off the pick. And that's 17 points for Blue Williams. Perfect screen there. Set him up. Nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. 
the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. We look at the Clippers. Very strong season they've had, always at or, or near the top of the conference, and right now they're in first place in contention for that, exactly where they want to be as they close in on the postseason. And, of course, the Portland Trailblazers, just a few spots below there. Seeing where the Trailblazers are, I mean, they put it all together this season, vaulting solidly into the playoff picture as the regular season winds down. That makes them dangerous, as we all know. And for a team that's made so much progress, it's important to make a dent come playoff time. They're not going to be satisfied just getting them. I mean, they want to do some damage once they, uh, once they take part in the playoffs. For Portland, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. And Lillard kicks to Williams. Williams a screen on Ross. But to whom attacking. Lillard dishes to Lopez. And now Williams inside. Outside for Batum. And it's Toronto with the rebound. That's a shot that he sometimes struggles with. But you can't fault him for taking it when the defense backs off like that. Passes it to Lowry. Ross on the wing. Here's Wennington. He kicks to Williams. For the lead. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Lillard's got his third rebound tonight. Pass to Williams. Lopez sets a screen for Williams. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Williams. Williams has got four assists now tonight. Toronto's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're six of 13. They set the pick. Lowry tries in. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Portland. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. And guys, I think you've got to give them credit for the number of steals they've taken away. I mean, a lot of effort on the defense from them tonight. Trailblazers have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Aldridge with a screen on Williams. Williams attacking. Right side, Batum. Right side, Batum. Four on the shot clock. Williams passes to Lillard. And the three off target. Well, it's just been one of those kind of games. Though. Ross kicks to Lowry. Feeds it to Williams. Right side, Williams. And good. Got the friendly bounce on the right side of the rim. Williams has got eight here in the quarter. Well, this quarter has gone awfully well for him. It seems like every chance he's gotten, he's pretty much converted. Here's Aldridge. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And the Trailblazers lead by one. The Raptors have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Lowry dishes to Valanciunas. Kicks to Ross. They set the pick. Pass to Valanciunas. The feed to Lowry. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Lowry's got 21. And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. One heck of a game. I mean, guys, this has been outstanding in terms of the effort that both sides have been able to put up. Back over there, Steve, he's enjoying every second of the game. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. This has been great, guys. The fans getting their money's worth here. Both teams just playing so hard out there. Outside, Williams. A three-pointer, no good. Portland's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Williams with the ball. Williams picks him up. Batum for three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his third rebound in the night. Dishes it to Lowry. Outside Williams. Back to Lowry. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And a look at some of the numbers for Nicholas Batum. 
Now the second half has shaped up for him. He's putting up about 12 points per game, four rebounds, and three assists. And you really can't find much fault with him as far as his performances lately. Yeah, he's been very, very dependable, steady, and doing pretty much everything they've asked of. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Crab comes in for Robin Lopez, and it's Drogic in for Lillard. Shot left block. Shot is good, and the Toronto lead is cut to just one point on the basket from LaMarcus Aldridge. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Patterson setting the pick for Lowry. Let's it go with the three. And again, Toronto no up. Well, that's a surprising miss right there. He usually feasts on those wide open opportunities. Williams. The rebound by Patterson. Patterson's got three rebounds now in this one. Up an Ecolo, the pass to Patterson. Lowry kicks to Vasquez. And again, Toronto no up. And for Portland, they're shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high-quality shots. Right side, Batum. Williams dishes to Dragic. And the pass to Alders. Batum trying to break loose. That gives them the lead. 18 points for LaMarcus Aldridge. And shot on the way. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. Portland leading. And Williams, here we go. He dishes it to Craig. Back to Williams. Feeds to Craig. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Patterson's got four rebounds in this game. Passes to Papa Nicolo. Back to Lowry. Soft touch off the glass. He's got five. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. And Johnson with the block. Now, here is Lowry. He's got 23. Here's Vasquez. That's in coming off an assist from Lowry. Lowry's got assist number seven for him tonight. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Rogic the pass to Williams. Back to Dragic. Crab gets to Dragic. Outside Williams. A shot. With that shot, the Raptor lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Cram. Toronto's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Taken away by Williams. And now Williams running the floor all by himself. And you can see the importance of that steal. I mean, really a four-point turnaround with the conversion at the other end right there. Yeah, that's big. I mean, you, you negate a basket at one end, score at the other. Now is when the momentum can really shift. Third quarter comes to a close in a...